From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA, with incredible big news about your force to must check updated 2020 not one. A big breaking news report tonight as a deal will be hatched for your recon in the next two to seven days. I have the latest details in tonight's recording. LA told you that there was a big problem with the Democrats telling Americans what's in the recon. Those problems unearthed tonight. Then the price is right. The recon could drop to 1.7, but tonight we're going to learn whether climate in college was out at afternoons and is back in on evenings. What went on and why did things get changed? We have the latest negotiations, what happened in the last hour. This is totally new on Evenings LA. Certain provisions that we thought were out may be going back in. We'll be going over that climate, ri that cold raise it's only one of two raises you're going to get after that and then we go to the big exciting details at this channel turns one and a half years old this weekend and we'll be looking back at the first year and a half of this channel but the big details is that minutes ago major inside reports have been released about the negotiations that have happened in just the last hour this is totally new tonight i hope you've tuned in because you're going to miss all the breaking news it's all right here and it's a big evening from the West Coast to the East Coast, from my home to your home. A big evening of LLA heats up right now as we go into a night in which that recon will get done. The recon is heading to the finish line. But the question is how much, where, and what, what, with what provisions? I got it all with you, and I got it all right here. And it starts right now. I hope you're having a beautiful evening across the board. It's, it's a big night because a deal will be hatched for your recon. They think that recon will be gotten together and done by Friday, which would mean the vote would be next week. The price is right. Looking at 1.7 to 2 trillion, where it land? I have the latest details. What happened with climate and college? It was out two hours ago. It may be back in. What happened? Who put it back in? Then student loan debt heating up. And could another $10,000 of student loan debt be forgiven? And what about those cola raises? You're not going to have one. You're going to have two back behind it. When fist stimulus heats up, up. I have all those incredible details as we go into a big night. There's been a lot of major developing details tonight, and it just happened the last hour as I have the latest details from insiders of what happened during the negotiations today for your recon. The recon will get done, but what's in there, what's not in there, what are they adding in? I have all the details. It's a big evening, and I'm excited you join me. You know this is the biggest and final recap of the night, and this is is ally so subscribe 400,000 subscribers a youtube record i want you part of this incredible family where you're going to see the biggest the most accurate and most in-depth coverage of this across the country like this video and consider becoming a member join me next with evening's countdown which comes up right after this video and then we have stream stimulus at seven sirloin at eight and then we have shows at nine ten eleven and eleven thirty tonight they all cover these programs that are in that recon, you want to watch those videos. Let's turn to this big, bold recon. I was about to say 3.5, but it's not going to stay at 3.5. It's coming down, but the programs so far staying in, except potentially two of them. We'll go over all those details right now. There's recon is for everyone. Americans, you, single individuals, people without children, people with children, people who are employed, people who are unemployed, seniors, workers, people that don't work. These checks, these programs in this recon will pay you about $15,000 across the board, and it's made up of three clusters of checks with two other, which actually three potential add-ons on top of that. Let's go over each of those clusters of checks and see which ones are still in there as of tonight which ones went out, which ones came back in, and which ones got changed. Here we go, hazard pay, and $4,000 of elder care. As of tonight, they're still in there. Hazard pay is big. It's brought in the earned income tax credit so more people qualify for the money, increasing the amount of money. So as essential workers get it, up to $4,000 a year for elder care, huge, up to $4,000 money for caring for young children. 
they got college grants in there directly to the university and also to the student. And then the Pell's grant made tax free. They got free home repairs, which reportedly are still in there. The federal government give you big money for free home repairs if you live in a low income community. But what happened with the child tax credit, the CTC? This one has been literally all over the board today. We had heard earlier today that the CTC was reduced in a number of years, and I was reporting five years an hour or two ago that had been reduced from 18 years to five years. But now tonight, I can report, they are now floating that the CTC may be just one year, which would be $300 a month after over every month for one year, which would just be one year, the CTC. Earlier today, we were looking at five years. It's not a done deal. It's very fluid. It could be either 15000 or it could be either 3000 But it's not going to be 18 years, which was going to be 51000 Then they got money in there for bikes, cars, and trucks, all electric, all U.S. auto manufactured. 15% for the purchase of a new electric bike, $7,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, personal use, a little bit more if it's for business use. That's the first cluster checks. Everything else so far indicated to us it's still in there. The first add-on, we have an update about the first add-on, actually, and it comes from Maxine Waters because she she's going to tell you what she wants to say, and she says she's still fighting to get it in there. So this is not done either way. She's fighting to add $25,000 in there if for first home first-time home buyers. This would be $25,000 of cash given to you or to the seller during escrow, for your purchase of your first home. Wow. Let's turn to the second cluster of checks that has items in their past. And one of these items is out. And that was what we were told at noon time, at, at Afternoons LA. But tonight, Nancy Pelosi has a comment. She says it's not out. Oh boy, what's going on? We have in this second cluster, paid family, paid medical leave, child care programs, household tax credits, Medicare eligibility, increased um, money for seniors like dental and vision, pre-kindergarten, and then <laughs> weatherizing your home. Definitely need to weatherize your home. And this one, ironically, is still in there. Good, because I get my joke. <laughs> <laughs> They're keeping in weatherize your home because you got to weatherize the bill. <laughs> uh, always weatherize the, the recon because otherwise you won't have a weatherized recon. It's staying in there. But which two provisions are literally all over the place tonight? At Afternoons LA, we had heard from insiders that tuition-free community college was out, which means my joke about LA 101 is also out. <clears throat> that was out. Tonight, Nancy Pelosi says, no, it's not out. It's still in there. What? <laughs> Okay. Uh, then we had also heard that um, the family leave and medical leave could be in jeopardy. Nancy Pelosi says it is not going to stay in jeopardy. And her exact quote is, I've changed more diapers than anyone else in the room. Yeah, um, you've changed more diapers than I have. <laughs> so there you go. Family and medical leave. How much is it? It's $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year. $800 a week if you make $35,000 or $400 a week. And Nancy Pelosi still says it's staying in there. Let's go to the second add-on. No new updates we are hearing yet about that second add-on. That second add-on comes from Bob Casey, who had meetings with the president yesterday, and Bob Casey's looking to add $250 billion of add-on, which would provide big money for home health care. Home health care, the solution Bob Casey is proposed, giving big money to states so that they can give you a free home health care provider that would alleviate the harm or the, the, the toll on the family for the son and daughter taking off from work to take care of you. Now the son and daughter can go to work and you won't have to worry about that. No updates whether it's gotten in there or hasn't gotten in there as of tonight. Third cluster, one of these checks 100% guaranteed is out. I'm going to go over it right now. So third cluster, here we go. These items are in, but I'm going to tell you which one came out. Free school meals for all checks, cheaper prescription medication checks, checks for farmers, checks for free internet, checks for workers, independent contractors, and checks for seniors, dental, vision, and hearing care. One of those checks I was about to tell you in that third cluster pass has now been removed. Uh, I didn't mention it, so I'm going to mention it right now. Clean energy, definitely out. I had told you it was first out Thursday. It's a climate provision. It concerns uh, energy. And Joe Manchin said it was a non-starter. He told the president this last week, I had the exclusive on it. I told you it was going out. It was taken out by the president. Minutes ago, we got confirmation again. It is absolutely out. It is not going back in. It apparently is a deal breaker for Joe Manchin. So staying out. It concerns the climate. Now, how about the Medicare drop in the eligibility age? Uh, 
Bob Casey's office tells this channel that he's looking to drop it from 65 to 60. No confirmation yet if that is still is where it's dropping. And I got to tell you that the Medicare ch checks for vision, hearing, and, and, and also dental is on the battleground. It has been on the battleground all day long. It is still in there, but there are people that really want to get it out of there. Um, let's go to the third add-on. The third add-on, which, of course, is that MSC. MSC has a lot of twists and turns going on with it tonight. The twists and turns is when and where and how. The twists and turns are the following, that Chuck Schumer's office has told viewers last week, the week before and the week before that, that he's inserting it on the Senate side. We have one viewer who was told by Omar it's going to be added on the House side. The question is whether they're going to come through on it. Omar's office says it would be added after a House bill, but before a House vote. Let me go over all the details. We have this big recon, and things are being added to it. Things are being removed from it. Then it's not a – excuse me, House – uh, we have this recon uh, package. It's not a recon bill yet. When it becomes a bill, it will be introduced to the House floor. There are viewers who have been told repeatedly by Pelosi, Omar, and, ja and Jalapa that they're adding in a provision that would provide monthly stimulus checks after the House bill is debuted, but before the House vote. Very, very interesting. If they don't take care of it on the House side, then when is the option? The Senate side. The senators have indicated they're adding it during the Votorama, and that, of course, is Chuck Schumer. The Votorama is the final two days of the voting process at the very end. And that Votorama would not be this week, and it's not going to be next week. The process at the moment is they're looking to do this recon, get the agreement of the provisions generally done by the, this Friday, and then get it to a House vote by next Friday. People have been asking me which vote this coming Friday, the, the following. Fire. That would be the House vote. The Senate vote might be another day. Uh, might, might be a, a different day. Actually, it will be a different day. Uh, and there you go. The third thing that is big about this uh, MSC is, of course, that statement from the number one senator in the equation and his chief of staff. This statement is so big, and I've been saying it all, long, all day long, and I'm going to repeat it in a second. Advocacy. you got to advocate because the next 48 hours is literally war zone. There is literally things being thrown left and right for this recon, and you need to step up. We now have in total between congressional and senatorial offices received more contacts of advocacy from Allied than the number of signatures in the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring of stories from Allied viewers. Now they have a better understanding of what Americans are trying to do to get through this pandemic. We have heartbreaking stories, and the voice of the people is allied, and he has become too loud to be ignored. Wonderfully kind message. Let's listen to this last sentence, because this is big for you, and I have a commentary about it as well. It concerns me. It says, please continue your encouragement, allied, for the continued advocacy, as you are the professional voice of the people you have become, and do this until it becomes law. Very, very kind. And before it becomes law, this is huge. This is huge. Why is this so important? Because we got to remember, one, the next 48 hours is really a critical time for the recon. It is moving lightning fast. You're going to see in a second how lightning fast it's changing. You need to advocate. House and Senate. House, AOC, Omar, Jalapal, Pelosi. Advocate why I need it. This is why my family needs it. You're not, you're not Dora the Check Explorer. You're advocating and saying why I need it. House, Senate side. Chuck Schumer, Nancy, uh, Chuck Schumer, Liz Warren, Bernie Sanders, uh, Ron Wyden, Chris Coons, and Bob Casey. Advocate why you need to have them insert it. Remember, even if it's not in the House bill, they can add it for a House vote. Even if it's not in the House bill, they can add it on the Senate side. You need to advocate because we're not at the finish line just yet. But boy, you have never seen an evening delight to this one because the news cycle literally changed in the last 20 minutes. Many of the items that we thought were out of the recon are back in. In the second half of this video, we'll be going over an, a deal that's being an, that's going to be uh, formulated in the next 48 hours. What does this mean for us? We'll be going over the prices right with a 1.7 to a $2 trillion price tag. Which items are in and which items are out? Earlier today, we were told climate was out and also college was out. Reportedly, it's going back in. We'll be coming to student loan debt and more debt could be forgiven. And then those COLA raises. We're just getting started because it's a big evening across the board. In the second half of this video, we'll be seeing more about this big money. But first, here's a little bit about the community page uh, before I return in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, 
Then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on evenings L L8 as a deal is happening in your recon. It's likely they're going to get this over the finish line. I have the latest details. Congress is dealing with a big problem. No one knows this recon exists except L8 viewers. And a new poll confirms that. Congress says this is a big problem. What are they doing with it? I have the details tonight. The price is right. The recon is coming down. Two trillion to one seven. Which number is it? Does it impact you? Kyman and college. Is Kleiman and college out or is it in? Earlier today, we were told it was out. Tonight, it may be back in. And then student loan debt. More debt could be forgiven. Whose debt is next to be forgiven? I have the details tonight. And then, of course, the COLA raise. You're going to get one raise, but that's not the only one. Two more raises are coming back after that. And then we look back on the first two years of this channel. Excuse me, a year and a half of this channel. It's this Sunday. And with 140 million views in one and a half years, what have we learned about ourselves? What have we learned about others? I have all the details as we look back and look forward over the next year and a half. And with that, I'm so excited for you to join me. I'm on a big night where there's a lot of massive breaking news. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. This is the channel where everything is breaking and everything is covered. Like this video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member. It's a big night, and we're going to go right into the big story of the evening, which is the deal. The deal is going to be hatched, and it's upon us right now. So what's going on? Well, let me go over all the incredible details. A deal is happening for your $3.5 trillion recon coming down to a new price tag, and the deal could be done by Friday. Let me explain what's going on. There is a massive surge that has changed in the last 24 hours where almost everyone involved thinks that the recon deal will be hatched and finalized by this Friday, meaning that the substance of the agreement will be done by Friday, that the vote would be ready for next the Friday after that on the House side, and then we go over to the Senate side. Let me go over why this is big, and let me go over what's also new tonight. I got a lot in tonight's recording, so stay with me. First, Jalapal confirms that the recon will get passed. In her comments, she says that she met with uh, with Joe Manchin for the first time ever about the recon, and she called it a great night, to, a great time to spend together. She said, "We're going to get both of them done. We're absolutely going to get them both done. It's a messy process negotiating. Negotiations never easy, but their differences. Everybody knows their differences, and we're going to come together because we're going to deliver both of these bills, the infrastructure and the Build Back Better recon, to the president's desk together." Senator so to Chris Coons, Democrat, Delaware, one of the first persons to say, actually the first person to say to WR, he's going to serve a similar check provision in there monthly, says there is an, a lot of reasons why we got to get this done in the next 10 days. Doing this in December is not going to work. Absolutely. Tester, John, Democrat, Montana, says what has happened in the last few days is we've gotten to a point where we can move pretty well. Well, uh, I'll have more about this in a second because, boy, the developing details in just the last hour is mind-blowing. It's totally mind-blowing. Now, what's important for you to understand is that 
there's a new CBS poll out, and that CBS poll asked Americans, what do you think about the recon? And 90% of U.S. Americans did not even know what the recon was. They never even heard of it. Of the 10% of Americans polled who were asked about, that knew what the recon was, they could barely even identify anything in the recon. This has been a common theme on this channel, where people tune in and say, I haven't heard about anything. I haven't seen this. I haven't talked about it. Guess what? Not my fault. <laughs> One point for LA, zero points for the Democrats. And the Democrats are talking about it. In a new interview, uh, Dick Durbin, who is the majority whip uh, from Illinois, was asked, have you seen the new CBS poll where it says people don't know what's in the recon? He says, I have. And he says, uh, it's a problem. And I'm not surprised by it. He said that basically this is a situation that we did not fix and we need to fix it right now. Um, we underperformed and we undersold it, and now we need a chance to close it right away. The price is right. Where's the recon going to fall? Well, it ain't going to be $3.5 trillion, but it's not going to be $1.5 either. I told you yesterday evening on this show that $1.9 is a cakewalk. It's great. Why did I say $1.9? When you look at the recon, many of the programs, most of the programs, are 10-year programs of $3.5 trillion. We don't need 10-year programs. Cut 3.5 and half, what do you get? 1.7, five-year programs. Great news across the board. Well, we have three numbers floating around tonight, 1.7, 1.9, and 2. Where are the three numbers coming from? The moderate Democrats are talking about 1.7. The president has said, I want $2 trillion. He said that during his negotiations with his Democrats yesterday and today. And the moderate Democrats said, we're happy to anything to 1.9. I believe it's going to land at 1.9, but the reality of the situation, it doesn't make a difference for you and I if it's 1.7 to 2. Why? Because the programs are all going to be somewhere between three to five, three to six years. And it really doesn't make a difference where in the three to six year range they are. The president originally wanted programs to run for many generations and asked for 20 years of programs I exclusively reported over the last two weeks, uh, last three months on this channel. I told you that Bernie Sanders had asked $7 trillion initially for the recon. I had been reporting at the time I thought there were 20-year programs. That was now confirmed. Then, when they got to $3.5 trillion, I exclusively reported that Bernie was asking for 10-year programs. I had speculated. We now have confirmation it was 10-year programs. So over the last two weeks, I said, get this done. Just cut the programs from 10 years to 5 years. That brings you from one point, from 3.5 to 1.7. Two, one week later, then Nancy Pelosi and Jalapal said, yes, we don't need your 10-year programs. Just shorten the duration. Easy breezy. So at 1.7, you're looking at maybe about four or five-year programs. At 1.9, you're looking at about five to six pro year programs. And at 2 trillion, you're definitely looking at six year programs. So, what are some of the comments about this durational issue? Um, the price is right, says Debbie Dingleball. Dingleball. Uh, I think it's going to get done this time. She's a Democrat from Michigan. And then Patty Murray, Democrat from Washington, says there's a real consensus this time. Uh, we'll see the timeline, but this is uh, it's literally in half of what people envision. Then Steny Hoyer said we've made significant progress and it's it's going to be success towards the end. We're working very hard to get both of these bills done really quickly. What's getting tossed and what's being kept? <laughs> On Afternoons LA, no less than two hours ago, I told you the climate and Community college, totally free, were removed. They're gone. They're out. And I told you that the CTC, the child tax credit, was reduced from 10 years to five years. Totally new tonight. What's going on? Um, what's going on is the following, and this is very rare for me to ever say this. Jalapal told news that it probably, the final recon will probably not have in their community college. Okay, so that's why I ran the Ran the quote. I mean, Jalapal says it's not going to go in there. Jalapal wants, you know, she's a progressive. She wants big things. Who tonight said community college is back in there? Pelosi. <laughs> Pelosi. Uh, excuse me? So let me go over what's going on tonight because there's a lot happening. First, I'm going to go over timeline, then I'm going to go over big cuts. I'm going to go over college and what's still in there. And uh, you're going to be surprised by some of the details. All right, first. Timeline. Uh, Steny, Steny uh, Hoyer, majority leader on the House, says, I think members are in a position where they want to get something done and they understand you got to get everybody in the tent because we have a very close margins. So I think they'll accommodate it. 
Nancy Pelosi said, it's very possible, that's a quote, very possible, the recon agreement will be done by Friday. We'll continue to be on schedule. We have a goal and we have milestones and we've met every milestone along our timeline. So we'll be able to meet our reach our goal. I think they're going to as well. And then when asked about the childcare and paid leave, which is in the second cluster, you saw that earlier. There's a lot of talk of that coming out. She said, I've changed more diapers than anyone in this room, <laughs> saying it has to stay in there. Big cuts. Which ones are coming out? Senator Ben Cardin, a Democrat from Maryland, says there should be some anticipated big cuts. I think major parts will remain in part, but some items are coming out. There's a big lunch that was held late today with Senate Democrats, including Alita Schumer. And they are now talking with the president by the hour. A big meeting held tonight will be with the House Ways and Means uh, Chair Richard Neal, the Senate Finance Chair Ron Wyden, and White House officials. And this is big because apparently all the subcommittees that are port important for doing numbers are having late night meetings tonight. Uh, here is what Schumer said. Everyone's going to have to compromise if we're going to find the legislation sweet spot where we can get behind. No one will get everything they want no matter what. We're getting closer to agreement. We've got to finalize the deal by the end of the week. But by all means, we're still moving. So what's in there? What's going out? What's happening and what's going across the board? Well, it's important to understand where the provisions are moving tonight. <laughs> and boy, they're moving, including my notes. Uh, there are just a lot of provisions that are getting moved around. Okay, here we go. So this is breaking news tonight. First, child care, child care tax credit. Thought to be initially at 18 years, then to be to 10 years. Then by afternoons, LA was reporting five years. Tonight it may be one year. Oh boy. Um, Obama subsidies and Medicare expansions, which is a dental checks, vision checks, hearing care, lowering the Medicare eligibility age, are still in. But there may be shorter periods, and Obama's looking for three years of Obama's uh, for Biden's looking for three years of Obama subsidies. Which are the big battleground issues tonight? The dental and vision for Medicare, yeah. Um, and this is not sitting well with Bernie Sanders, who wants it in there. Biden has discussed vouchers and maybe just a three year timeline. Then paid family leave and climate provisions. Very, very fluid. I've been reporting that climate was really getting removed dramatically, even though some residue was still in there. Um, but now paid family leave could be in jeopardy. President has said the clean energy is definitely out. It's staying out. That's the clean electricity performance program. Definitely out because it's a non-star over Joe Manchin. Also tonight is um, the cap on state and local tax deductions is potentially coming out. And then two years of community free college likely coming out. One strange item tonight is the following, Sinema and her secrets. There's a new report that says it's a guess that they're very concerned about the corporate tax provision, which pays for the recon, and the wealth tax because Sinema is not telling people what they don't want, what she doesn't like. Representative Veronica Escobar, Democrat of Texas, went after Sinema today. This is a guessing game when it comes to Senator Sinema. Yes, we're all supposed to be on the same team. That means transparency, communication, collaboration. Without it, makes it significantly more challenging. I don't know what the red lines are for one U.S. senator who has an amazing amount of power. This has not been a Joe Manchin situation who he has really improved in the last, since Monday. Joe Manchin has told everyone what he doesn't like about the climate and they took out the climate and they modified the climate. Joe Manchin is really ever, I don't know what Jalal Paul did, but ever since he met with Jalal Paul, he has been very forthcoming saying what he wants and doesn't want and doesn't, does want and they've been making changes. Sinema, this issue for the taxes is very strange tonight. Now, um, let's go over the uh, getting to the finish line. Uh, what's important to understand is that they have uh, they have a big way to fix the recon. And the big way to fix the recon is to take the polarizing language out, which is climate, and shorten the duration of the programs. When we looked at that recon at 3.5 trillion, 10 years, not going to happen. Earlier this week, I told you and the week before, cut the duration of the programs. That's what Jalapal, that's what Pelosi said. But now we're seeing for the first time tonight on Evening to LA that maybe some programs are getting shortened dramatically more than other programs. What do I mean? I had always talked about everything as just sort of a broad stroke. 
10 years for everything, five years for everything. Tonight on Evening to LA, and I can report to you that it doesn't look like every program will be the same duration as another program. As you saw, child care tax credit, maybe one year, community college completely out, and then other programs, maybe four or five years. So they're doing slightly different durations across the board. They may average out to five years as, as total programs across the board, but very, very interesting uh, as it is. Nancy Pelosi has been right on point. Um, she said that we need to figure out where we are uh, last Tuesday and get to that point. And she's really been uh, watching that timeline. She's done a very good job. Um, she said that the recon will get done because it has to get done. And she's absolutely right. And she also said climate was the battleground of the recon. That has been much the case. And ironically, it's been the easiest part to solve in the last 24 hours because Joe Manchin has been very forthcoming. Um, where Jalapal really brings us that home run quote is where she says, we need quick, big checks right now. And there's an urgency. We'd rather reduce the number of years because the universality of the benefits and the immediacy of the benefits are absolutely critical. And frankly, it's more important to us than having the entire year of the program. We're happy that the speaker has been able to see something in said something like that in a press conference as well. There you go. So where are we tonight? Pelosi certainly snapping back at the report that college uh, that tuition free community college is out. Pelosi pushing back at people who wants to take out uh, paid family leave and paid medical leave. And the only thing that really is out that was always set out are the provisions about climate that does not that does not sit well with Joe Manchin. What is my opinion of the situation? I think they're going to get it done. I think they will get the tentative agreement of the recon done by Friday. That would mean that the House vote would be the following week. That doesn't mean that they can't still make modifications. Senators go last, and they can make modifications. She's been with this channel for a long time. And you remember how they've always done this. We've had a lot of bills that passed the House. We didn't see anything, problem of anything. And as soon as it landed to the Senate, chip, 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 cut things out or add, 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 spice it up. And they've done this all along. So it's zooming very quickly. If there was any indication of why this week should be how you do things, it would also turn to student loan debt. Student loan debt is sort of the embodiment of what the president should and shouldn't do and what the Democrats should and shouldn't do. Why has the negotiations of the recon zoomed up so quickly in the last two days? Because people just said, get it done. I've been saying that for over two weeks. Get it done. Take the controversial climate provisions out, get the recon smaller, and get it done. When we talk about student loan debt forgiveness, there is a new offer from the president, $10,000 of student loan debt forgiveness for everyone. The Democrats are just wasting everyone's time by not just taking the deal from the president. Take the deal from the president. You don't have to close your door and say that's the only amount you're going to forgive. He just wants to give you 10 right now by executive order. People go into the holidays with a $10,000 student loan debt forgiven. You can push as much as you want for 50000 as a Democrat like Ron Wyden or Elizabeth Warren, but it's been a year and the president hasn't done it. The great news is the president forgave two other, three other rounds of student loan debts in the last few days. First, the president forgave student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation. Then, the president forgave student loan debts for individuals who went to go work in the nonprofit sector for 10 years after graduation. Your debts have been forgiven. And third, the president has forgiven student loan debts for individuals who went to work in the public sector for at least 10 years after graduation. This is the city, the county, the state, or the federal government. If you became a public school teacher or a sanitation driver for the last, last 10 years, this is you. One viewer found this out when he was in the live chat of Morning's Countdown. He said, is that me, sir? I've been working in the federal prisons for 20 years. I said, yes, sir, it's you. And one viewer had a great question on the 1 o'clock afternoon's LA show today. Where do I do this? How do I do this? I don't particularly know, but I do know that this is between you and your lender. So you want to pull down that executive order or statement from the president for giving the debt. It may be on whitehouse.gov and then reach out to the lender. Remember, it's a relationship between you and the lender. And the federal government is what has forgiven the debt, not your state, not your city or county. And there you go. Meantime, I'm really excited about these color raises because guess what? It's just one of many raises you have coming up thereafter. Cola is going up three to five, five to six percent, and this is big. This is for my beneficiaries on SSI, SSDI, Social Security Railroad benefits. But guess what? That's only your first raise. You're going to get two other raises after that. What's going on? I have all the details starting right now. COLA uh, was announced by Social Security Administration last week as going up 5 to 6% for next year. But this stimulus proposes to raise your benefits up two other times after that. 
First, they're going to raise your benefits up one big time. Then they're going to apply a new benchmark, and that new benchmark is inflation. It will be applied December of next year. Remember, once your benefits go up, they never go down. So this is your new, num your new lift up for next year, meaning the check you're getting today, you're never going to see that check ever again starting next year. Why? Because once your benefits go up, they never go back down. The next lift up would be right after fifth stimulus pass. You'll get a second lift up on top of that, which is the SSI and SSDI reform and veterans and seniors across the board. Then the third lift up will be later in 2020. Two, when they apply the new benchmark, inflation. Replacing COLA, it'll be at least 1% to 3%. And that will be a third step up. They're going to remove the asset cap team back to the 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. It's going to go away. They're going to remove the income cap team back to a 1960s law that says you can't have more, you can't work and also stay on benefits. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to go away and love is going to win. And there you go. That is fifth stimulus. Finally, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The membership link is underneath the video. Become a member today and learn about all the big money in the first, second, and third stimulus. And what's proposed in the fourth stimulus? It's important to remember that when third stimulus is passed, people will sometimes just focus on a $1,400 automatic stimulus check. I said, don't be focused on automatic money. Focus on the money you can go and get, because there's a lot. I said, I can get you about $1,500 thousand dollars in the third stimulus the average view of this channel from rent utilities mortgage snap and other items have gotten forty thousand dollars from this channel yes that's the average i've had a lot of viewers get eighty thousand a hundred thousand a hundred twenty five thousand dollars from third stimulus the money is still available today one viewer last week got thirty six thousand dollars from this channel why would you not get this money? The newsletter comes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time from me to you via the LA Alert System and the YouTube Alert System. The LA Late Alert System is in the description of this video. It's at news.la.com forward slash alerts, totally free. Consider becoming a member today to learn about all the big money under third stimulus. And as soon as fourth stimulus becomes law, I'm going to show you as a member how to get all these sums of money in this fourth stimulus that'll pay you upwards of $15,000. And with that, we look back on the first year and a half of this channel. This channel churns a year and a half old this weekend. And boy, what a run it's been. Over that time, this channel has amassed 140 million users, views. And we've learned a lot about ourselves. One of the things we've learned about ourselves is that you have to stay on top of everything. What does it mean staying on top of things? Because things change very quickly. There is always someone who <laughs> would always back in the day come in the chat and say, what I miss. Great. I love that because, I, yeah, I, I sometimes didn't like it because it's so rude. But I like it because it's someone who wants to make sure you haven't missed anything that hasn't occurred in the last few hours. You can see tonight that I'm being very attentive to you whether community college is out or in whether climate is out or in, where paid leave is in, out or in. This is big because a lot of these items could be big sums of money for you. Being on top of everything is how you should always live your life. You should never sort of defer to the automatic life at issue. You should not be the donut guy, a character I created early in this channel, which referred to a person who just wants things automatically delivered to them. If you compare the person who goes out and gets things versus the donut guy, the donut guy doesn't ach achieve much in life. The donut guy just sits back and expects things automatically to come to him, whereas the person who goes out and gets stuff gets big sums of money. Compare third stimulus, for example, donut guy versus the non-donut guy. Third stimulus, donut guy maybe got a $14 stimulus check. <laughs> if he didn't file taxes and he didn't do a non-filer, he may have gotten nothing. But hopefully he got a $14 stimulus check. The non-donut guy got thousands of dollars more, maybe 20000 maybe 30000 maybe 40000 80000 125000 from this channel. Imagine the difference of $40,000 versus $1,400. There's a big difference. When you look back at second stimulus, big difference between people who looked at things automatic versus people who went out and got stuff. Second stimulus in December 2020, people needed money. I showed them how to get the money. They got the money for rent, utilities. People understood how to get other rounds of PPP and got uh, PUA and got extensions of PUA. People understood how to go get that EI deal grant and the EI deal loan versus the person who said, I'll just wait for that $600 second stimulus check to come. Yeah, $600 versus $30,000, big difference. As we look forward to four stimulus, you're going to see much the same thing. Some people that sort of think that life in general is just automated 
Everything is just sort of automated. But you got to remember, this is a democracy. And this is not a socialist environment or a, a tyrannical environment where the government controls you and you or you control the government. This is an environment in which you have to pick up a pen and paper. You have to make a phone call. You have to apply. You have to do something. You have to assume something more than just automation. Automation doesn't get people in life anywhere. It's people who learn from information and try to progress. Earlier today on this channel, I detailed how that CBS poll really embodies the true, vis the true comparison of this channel versus everyone else. 90% of Americans have no idea recon exists. Can you imagine? And of the 10% that knew the recon exists, can't even tell you what's in there. Can you imagine? Imagine you who have watched today's video and now know what's in, out, the provisions, the payouts, the monies. Imagine you having a conversation with someone in that 90% bracket that has no idea the recon exists. It's like talking with a block wall. You have to explain something completely all over to them. They may just sort of default to something very simple. Well, is there a, no, let me tell you how this works. You got to do this and that. Well, it's just, you know, you have to hear things and listen through things. And sometimes things may be complicated. Some things may be confusing. As that one person had a great question on Afternoons I like, how do I get that student loan debt forgiven? Not in the recon, but standalone. How do I get student loan debt forgiven now that it is forgiven? Where do I apply? That's how smart people, educated, informed people work. One of the first things I learned on this channel, as soon as I press record, is my viewers are very smart. They don't miss a trick, they don't miss a line, and they don't miss a penny. They know exactly how to do things and where to go with them as soon as I tell them. And that's where the difference is. Coming up tonight is a full slate of programming. We have evening's countdown coming up right after this. So they'll go more into third stimulus because the running time is late tonight because the show is running long. There was a lot happening <laughs> in the last two hours since Afternoon's LA. Then we got a big stream of stimulus coming up at 7 o'clock. 8 o'clock is Sir Lloyd. And boy, I should be excited. You should be excited because the show's at 9, 10, 11, 30, 3 a.m., 3.30, all the way up to 4 a.m. early mornings L.A. are all about for stimulus. Much of the programs being discussed tonight are the same programs discussed back in those early recordings from April and May of 2021. They're being covered tonight across the board. So with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I want you part of this incredible family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. Consider becoming a member so you get that newsletter, which comes out in about two hours tonight. Don't stop advocating. Make phone calls tomorrow advocating for why you need the money. Call AOC Omar Jalapal Pelosi. Advocate. Advocate on the Senate side. Call Ron Wyden, Bob Casey, Chris Coons, Liz Warren, Bernie Sanders, and Chuck Schumer. Stay informed. Stay focused. Have a beautiful evening across the board. Always stay motivated. Always stay smiling. Always be polite. And always stay with Ally for more.